A break in reported at the home of L.A. mayoral candidate and Congresswoman Karen Bass. Now there are questions tonight about what was taken to firearms. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo is on our top story and joins us live with what we know. Christy. Susan, Karen Bass's campaign says that the two handguns were registered. And in, in a statement, she called the burglary unnerving and said, unfortunately, it's something that far too many Angelinos have faced. Tonight, there's a patrol car outside of her home, and the LAPD may have the lead in the case. Take a look. The LAPD putting out a photo it won't confirm is the suspect in the burglary of U.S. Representative Karen Bass's home. But the date, neighborhood, and other details appear to match the crime. The congresswoman and mayoral frontrunner said in a statement, quote, Last night I came home and discovered that my house had been broken into and burglarized. LAPD was called and I appreciate their assistance. At this time, it appears that only two firearms, despite being safely secured and stored, were stolen. And the number of detectives and officers around her home leaves no doubt this is a high priority case. Congresswoman, do you feel safe walking in? Los I do Angeles? feel safe. I would say a 10. I feel safe, but I do understand that a lot of people around the city do not feel safe, and I respect that. That was Bass during a Fox 11 mayoral debate. Her campaign didn't answer if she still feels that way, but says she bought the handguns many, many years ago for personal protection and that they were taken from a lockbox, but a laptop and cash were left behind. The incident bringing crime to the forefront just when her challenger, billionaire Rick Caruso, is trying to make rising crime his signature issue. Uh, vote for a better city. Vote for a city that has less crime. But Bass has also unveiled her plan for more policing, saying she wants to hire civilians to free up officers on desk duty for patrols and wants to hire two to 400 more people in uniform. So far this year, the LAPD says there have been over 9,800 burglaries reported in the city, a 15% jump from the same time last year. But with seven weeks to election day, Bass is having a bad week, now also fending off attacks about a USC federal corruption probe. Bass denying that a $100,000 scholarship she received from the School of Social Work is linked in any way to the bribery investigation into the former dean. Now the burglary is dominating headlines at a time when her campaign would rather be steering the conversation. Now, the man that the LAPD is only calling a burglary suspect is described as being about five foot nine and weighing 200 pounds. The press release, which is highly unusual, did not include a street or block or any sort of address. Also unusual about this case is the number of police officers and detectives we saw out at the scene. And just to give you an idea of how how strongly and how seriously the LAPD is taking this case. We're told that the Southwest Division took the initial report, but the investigation has now been taken over by the highly elite robbery homicide division. Live outside of West or the Southwest Division, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you.